Ever wondered how to make the perfect convi at home? Well, ponder no more. Today we are going to delve into the intricacies of this savory Indian delight, known for its melt-in-the-mouth texture. First off, gather these ingredients for the convi rolls. One cup of gram flour, one cup of preferably sour yogurt, two cups of water, half a teaspoon each of turmeric powder, ginger paste, and green chili paste. Add salt to taste and a pinch of asafoetida. Now, let's prepare the batter. Whisk together the gram flour, yogurt, water, turmeric powder, ginger paste, green chili paste, salt, and a pinch of asafoetida in a mixing bowl. Ensure the mixture is smooth without any lumps. Next, transfer this mixture to a non-stick pan or a heavy-bottomed saucepan. Cook the mixture on medium heat, stirring continually to prevent lumps. The aim is to thicken it into a smooth, lump-free batter of spreading consistency. While the mixture is still hot, swiftly spread a thin layer of the batter onto the back of a greased plate or a smooth surface. Use a flat spatula to spread it evenly and thinly. This step is crucial, as the thinness of the spread influences the texture of the convi. Once the batter-coated surface cools for a few minutes but remains pliable, cut the spread batter into strips with a knife. Roll each strip gently and tightly to form the convi rolls. Place them on a serving plate, seam side down. Now it's time for the tempering. This part adds a burst of flavor to the convi. Heat two tablespoons of oil in a small pan. Add one teaspoon of mustard seeds and let them splutter. Then add a pinch of asafoetida, six to eight curry leaves, and two to three slit green chilies. Saute for a minute, then pour this tempering over the arranged convi rolls. To finish off, garnish with two tablespoons of grated coconut and chopped coriander leaves. Let the convi cool down and set for a few minutes before cutting. Once set, serve it chilled or at room temperature. And voila! You have just mastered the art of making convi, a delightful Indian snack that's sure to impress. Don't forget to visit www.indianrecipebook.com for more finger-licking recipes. Please like, subscribe, and share our videos to support us. Enjoy your cooking journey.